Welcome back my legends and today I'm going to explain why Horizon hates Ash but in order to do so I'm first going to explain the backstory between these two legends. So it all started back in the year 2640 when the city of Olympus was built by Lilium Peck who just so happens to be Horizon's friend and Newton Summer's godmother and so that's the relationship between these three people. And so somewhere in the year 2640 to the year 2643 Dr. Reed came in the picture and was helping Horizon as her lab assistant to try to find a solution to the energy crisis that was going to hit the Outlands in the future. And so Horizon and Dr. Reed have known each other for a few years. According to Horizon in the Pathfinder's quest book, she said, years and years went by with nothing. Financers were getting impatient. Lillian was kind about it, but I knew even she was doubting in me. My own assistant thought I was failing. And even though it does give off this impression that Dr. Reed did not like Horizon, that is not 100% true. In fact, Horizon called Dr. Reed a good friend. And that they were very close. In fact, they were so close that Horizon invited her to dinner with her family and even told her if she could babysit Newton a few times. And so what we can conclude from these statements is that Horizon at the very least trusted Dr. Reed. And so somewhere in the year 2643, Horizon discovered this new source of energy and her theory was by going to this nearby black hole, they could harness the energy and turn that energy into a crystal which she called Brantium. And so in the loading screen crisis to a bird, what happened is the Horizon had this presentation in the Olympus committee where she brought up her theory about Brantium and solving the energy crisis and unfortunately according to Horizon people didn't tend to care about something that isn't happening in the moment and they were hoping to take care of it about 10 years from now and so because of this Horizon, Lilium Peck and Dr. Reed were kind of on their own and they basically had to take financial support from Chevrex Inc, Hammond Robotics and the IMC and so during this time Horizon built new to be able to extract the Brantium from the black hole and before she left she said she couldn't stomach to see Newton alone so she asked Lillian Peck to take care of him and that's when Newton Summer said who will protect his mom and that's when Ashley Reed volunteered to go with Horizon to extract the Brantium and Horizon said that it'll be honor for her to join her. Big oof. Now after Dr. Mary Summers extracted the Brantium what happened is that Dr. Reed betrayed her and stole the Brantium and left her for dead. Now most people are not going to understand how much of a big betrayal this was to Horizon because remember Horizon said that she considered her a close friend. Horizon even invited her to her family dinners because she probably knew she was by herself because according to Ash's lore Dr. Reed was born in an unforgiving frontier and she always had to look out for herself. And so Horizon saw Ashley Reed as family so the betrayal here is really next level deep if you put all the pieces together and this will explain why in one version and Horizon's trailer the problem is we can can see that Horizon's perspective, she sees Ashley Reed as some kind of traitor that backstab her. And yet in Ash's cinematic trailer, we see that her human self looks like to be having regrets to what she just did to Horizon. And so it's very interesting how both trailers have different perspectives of Ashley Reed. And so the next part is Dr. Reed betraying the group. Now, I did make an in-depth video about this. Ignore my timeline because the Pathfinder's quest book was wrong in a few dates. But other than that, everything else was pretty accurate. And so some Somehow Ashley Reed survived the event explosion and they basically turned her into simulacrum where she had a split personality and human Ashley Reed's memories were locked away were locked away for 76 years while simulacra Ash was in control. That was until Horizon used the awakening codes that she got from Crypto to awaken Ash's human memories that were locked away for a long time. And this is where the story is currently taking place right now because simulacra Ash is trying to look for something in Olympus and Horizon is is kind of contemplating the situation because as much as she hates Ashley Reed, Ashley Reed when she was in control of Ash for a few seconds told Horizon that she knows what happened to Newton and now Horizon has this dilemma because as much as Horizon probably hates Ashley Reed, she's going to need her help because Ashley Reed knows what happened to Newton Summers and so does Simulacra Ash but Simulacra Ash is not going to help Horizon. She's going to do her own thing and find whatever information or thing she's looking for in the Olympus, my guess is Pathfinder's kid. And so in order for Horizon to get something she wants, she's going to be kind of forced to help Ash find whatever she wants. But that leads me to my final question. Who really is responsible for getting Horizon stuck in the future? Because at face value, people will say it's Ashley Reed. No, Ashley Reed was hired by somebody to get the crystal away from Horizon. Just like how Revenant was kind of hired or told by Hammond Robotics to go kill Loba's dad. So in this case, both Ash 
and Revenant were the weapons, but they weren't the ones who pulled the trigger. Are you starting to see where I'm getting at? Who told Ashley Reed to send the Brantium to Gridiron? Why is it that after Ashley Reed saved Newton Summers, he was still declared dead? Who saved Ashley Reed when she was supposed to die? Something doesn't add up here, my legends. I have a feeling that it wasn't just Dr. Reed who betrayed Horizon, but that's a theory for another time. And I'll see you all next time, my legends. Peace.